Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Search Officer in the Department of Agronomy at GB Panth University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthanagar, Uttarakhand. And in the series of Watershed Management, we are discussing about the topic measures to increase water storage in soil. So this, there are different type of methods and we can categorize in two groups, biological measures and mechanical measures. Please watch the lecture. Uh, in the playlist watershed management methods to increase soil water storage and in this continuation now the mechanical measures and this mechanical measures actually are construction work or earthwork which reduces the runoff velocity and these are the land modifying practices actually these practices modify the land surface and cut the slope length and the degree of the slope. So these measures or methods are related to injuring work. So that's why also known as injuring measures. So the major objective of mechanical measure is to reduce the length of the slope so that runoff velocity is reduced, reduce the degree of the slope so that runoff velocity volume is reduced and more time is available for retention of rain water or runoff water on the soil surface. That's why infiltration and percolation is increases and water remain longer time available for the plant. So these uh, measures are mainly focused to modify the land surface and these methods can be divided or otherwise these are different methods but uh, generally there are four major work in mechanical measures which are aimed to increase soil water storage, labeling of the field, bonding in the field, terrace formation and trench formation. So these are the major uh, work which are undertaken under mechanical measures. So we will discuss one by one. So labeling, we know that uh, labeling is a very simple work. Uh, suppose the field is slopey, then land labeling is done so that the surface become uniform smooth. Uh, and the advantage is that if suppose there is a runoff, then runoff velocity increases and infiltration decreases but if there is a labeling definitely runoff velocity is decreases and there is more infiltration and percolation so different implements are used for land labeling and a gentle slope is also given so that water move uh, to a direction and so that excess water may drain or uh, if there is a uh, irrigation channel so that crop may be irrigated so field is labeled to a pre-planned grade or pre-planned slope. A gentle slope is given according to the uh, nature, maybe 0.5%, 0.6%. So a gentle slope is given. Nowadays, laser land labor are available, uh, which are very good work in land labeling. So this is labeling. Now bunding, bunding, uh, we know the bunts are earth embankment, but these bunts are different type uh, depending upon their purpose. So we make in number of bunts in the field and these bunts are, suppose this is a field, uh, suppose this is a large field and slope is in this direction, there is slope. Then bunts are made on the extreme side, on the extreme side, on this side so that water the, the, the bund make along the slope on the extreme side of the field so that runoff water does uh, not move outside the field and such type of bunds are known as side bunds. So this is very essential and these bunds should be very strong so that water, water remain in the field, so remain on the extreme side. So whatever rainfall is there, it remain in the field. So these, these are the side bunds, side bunds. Then there is this large area. So water move according to slope and the runoff velocity may be high, runoff volume will be high and it cause a soil erosion. So that's why contour bunds are made. These are the, along the contour means across the slope. Contours are the lines which are across the slope, which are at 90 degree of the slope. So uh, suppose this is the slope, suppose this is the slope line, so this, this is the contour line. So this is the contour line if this one is the slope. So bunds are made in like that. Suppose, suppose 
water is running in this way then bunds are made in this direction so that water is intercepted so it means is a compartmentation or division of the field and water is retained so these are known as contour bunds then maybe condition that water may uh, may, may flow in this direction and uh, and may uh, accumulate at a particular area so there may be water logging so this area may be dry and this may be more excess water water logging and may, it may break the bund so to avoid the a uh, concentration of water or accumulation of water to one side so bunds are made along the slope in 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 this direction in this direction so now water is retained up to the here now water is retained up to the here this water here, this water here, this water up to the here. So it prevents the accumulation of water to one side. And such type of bunds are known as lateral bunds. So these are lateral bunds. So lateral bunds objective is to prevent the accumulation of water. Now we can see the side bund objective is to maintain the water in the field. Contour bund to check the velocity of runoff lateral one to prevent the concentration of water but maybe the condition that one condition may be that if rainfall is very high then this bund uh, will not be longer and water runoff water velocity may break these all bunds lateral bunds contour bunds and in such case volume is very high kinetic energy is very high and it may cause a soil erosion so that's why it will be better to give a safer uh, path with a safe velocity so that runoff water move from the field with the non erosive velocity so that's why graded bunds are given so graded bunds are along the slope so suppose so the objective of the lateral bund is to provide the uh, path to runoff suppose this is the field and uh, water is moving a uh, slope is in this direction and water is moving with high velocity then bunds are made graded some bunds are made in in this fashion in this fashion this is the bun so that bunds are made in this way so that water may move uh, along this bunds with safer velocity and it prevent the accumulation and it gave the safer path otherwise if water is accumulated then it will, will break all the bunds and there will be soil erosion and we cannot check the water so such type of bunds are known as graded bund. Grade means slope. So these bunds are these bunds are made along the slope. So there are different type of bunds: side bund, here, contour bund, lateral bund, and the graded bund. Now the objective of here graded bund is to safe removal of excess water. The next mechanical uh, measure is terrace. Terrace. Uh, is earth embankment or ridge across the slope so there may be different type of slope which are making by the ridge with the soil and in general then this terrace uh, are three types divergent terrace divergent terrace to divert the axis runoff then retention terrace and third one is bench terrace in divergent terrace the objective is to divert the runoff divert the runoff if rainfall is high in high rainfall area runoff quantity is high so we safely divert the runoff to a suitable outlet so diversion okay so this for convey of access runoff to a suitable outlet and these may be of four type they on depending upon their structure uh, maybe magnum type in case of magnum type suppose this is the slope this is the slope and we make the terrace here in like that manner so the soil is put or soil is used from the both side of the slope the soil is we are using slope from the both side of the slope this is the slope and we are making the soil from this side and this side for making the ridge here then it is known as magnum type 
and in second one is nicolas type in nicolas type the soil is used from the upside slope upside slope only from the upside this is the suppose the slope and the soil is used from upside to put here to make a ridge and ridge act as a uh, obstruction and then the soil is used then it this level this area become level so this area become level so such type of terrace are formed third one are diversion broad base terrace broad so base is base this base is broad and it is about uh, 15 meter and third one is uh, last one this is the fourth one narrow base in case of narrow base it is about 3 to 4 meter so diversion terrace are used to divert the runoff to convey to carry the access runoff to a suitable outlet otherwise it may cause damage so it is adopted in high rainfall area second one is retention terrace in the retention terrace moisture is retained rainfall is retained means runoff is retained on the surface so this is adopted in low rainfall area so it is asked in examination in low rainfall area which type of terrace are used retention terrace retention means to conserve so in these are adopted in low rainfall area and terrace are made in such a way that actually this is made in hilly area that water is conserved on hillside hilly side so actually this is uh, this is the slope and this is the uh, hillside like that so terrace are made that water is retained on hillside so retention terrace in low rainfall area particularly it is adopted in hilly area third one is bench terrace bench terrace is uh, actually these terraces are adopted up to the 10 percent slope 10 percent slope if slope is high then this terrace cannot work cannot either retain or divert so if slope is high then this terrace are used bench terrace and they are adopted generally 16 to 33 percent slope so this question is generally asked in examination uh, the slope on which bench terrace are adopted 16 to 33 percent and the bench terrace uh, are a series uh, are also platform like structure a series of shelf and risers so bench type structure platform type structure is made by excavating uh, the soil and some risers are made uh, and it is adopted on steep slopes so generally in hilly area in hills in mountain area agriculture is practiced on bench terrace because in hill there is a steep slope so in most of the himalayan uh, region area and uh, mountain area bench terraces are made suppose this is the slope suppose this is the slope so soil is excavated from this side and some risers are made uh, with the some stone or mansory structure and the soil is put here soil is put here so now th this become deep and this become okay so structure like that then risers then risers are there this is an elevated portion then soil is excavated excavated from this side and put here so now th this become level so now this become level area now here then the soil this soil is excavated from this side and put here so now it become the level area it become the level area so these are the bench terrace so now th this area can be used for growing of the crops so shelves and risers are there excavating the soil and fill the soil so this terrace may be of three types number one level level top this this top may be level and to retain the moisture to conserve the moisture conserve the moisture and this slope may be outward outward sloping means this this may be like that means slope is here outward so it is practiced when rainfall is high high rain oh sorry low rainfall low rainfall area low rainfall so that the water is runoff okay it is moved here and now it is retained here and now the crop can be grown here properly so it is adopted in low rainfall 
area. Then third one is sloping inward. Inward sloping. It is adapted in high rainfall area. In high rainfall area, what is the problem? In high rainfall area, problem is axis runoff and we cannot control such type of runoff. If we cannot control, then provide a safe velocity, safe pathway so that it may move with the non-erosive velocity so that it may not cause the erosion. So, the studies are like that. Inward, means slope is here, inward. Now, water is collected. In this inward sloping, here water is collected, here, 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 and now channels are made to carry this axis runoff. So now we can remove the axis runoff. So these are the different type of terraces which are practiced in hilly areas. So bench terraces are very common in hilly areas. So these are different type of terraces. Another type uh, is uh, a terrace is a zinc terrace. Actually uh, zinc terrace uh, is uh, different from this retention and diversion and the bench terrace. Actually, uh, if area uh, has slope, but not high slope, uh, suppose it is the area, okay. So now the lower, so we can divide in two part and this part is leveled. This part is leveled, only leveling is done on this part. Then this upper part, this is the upper part and this is the lower part. So runoff is there runoff is there and this water is now retained here. So this is the donor area which donate the runoff, donor area and this is the receiver area which receives the water. Now crops are grown here, water loving crops are grown which require the moisture and here those crop can be grown which require low moisture like sorghum, pearl millet and here rice can be grown because water is, uh, is uh, conserved. Okay, and this type of terraces are known jing terracing. Jing terracing. So in these terraces are used for conservation, so known as conservation. Conservation jing terrace, very uh, common. So <clears throat> donor and receiver area, and the proportion of this area means donor to receiver area maybe two is to one. Suppose it is. Uh, um, uh, one time then it is two time maybe three is to one maybe five is to one depending upon the how much water is collected if uh, water uh, rainfall is low then donor area increases so that more water can be accumulated if rainfall is uh, good to medium then donor area can be reduced so this is the uh, conservation uh, bench terrace conservation known as conservation bench terrace conservation bench terrace CBT. It is known as CBT, Conservation Bench Terrace or Jing Terracing. Next is trenching. Trenching is excavation of the soil to a depth so that water, rainfall water uh, is accumulated in the uh, trench. And this uh, trench uh, may be different type, maybe continuous trenching or Staggered trenching, continuous and the staggered trenching. Actually, suppose this is the uh, slope, slope. So these trenches are made across the slope like that. Whether it is continuous or stag staggered, always along the uh, along the contour means across the slope. So uh, water is there, runoff water is there, so water is accumulated into this trenches. So it keeps this area moist and recharge the ground water. In case of continuous uh, trenches, the length is uh, very long, trenches are very long. Uh, uh, trenches, these are trenches are very long. And the uh, spacing uh, is very uh, large. So there is no break in trench. And this spacing may be 
20 meter, 10 meter, 30 meter. So this is the continuous trench and this is adopted in low rainfall area. In low rainfall area. Because in low rainfall area, availability of moisture is poor. So that's why these trenches are continuous. So length is more, that's why accumulate more water. And the dimension is 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter or 45 centimeter by 45 centimeter. Means this width is 30 centimeter or 45 centimeter and depth is also 30 or 45 centimeter. So these are the continuous. Okay. And in case of staggered uh, trenches, the trenches uh, are made of short length, not long, the short trenches, short trenches like that. And the length is uh, about uh, uh, 3 meter, 3 meter. And these are in alternate fashion. And the spacing, this spacing is about 3 to 5 meter. So this is not practiced in cultivated area. Actually, this is practiced in plantation uh, area or pasture area. And it is adopted in high rainfall area. High rainfall area. Because in high rainfall area, runoff quantity is very high. So it provides uh, also uh, some is accumulated and some uh, is provided safer uh, pathway. And some is accumulated. So not all the runoff is intercepted. It is impossible to intercept all the runoff in high rainfall area. So staggered trenches uh, are made of shorter length 3 meter and the spacing is close. This spacing is close and length is less. So these are uh, staggered trenches. So trenches are always made along the contour. So these are different type of uh, mechanical measures. Similarly, grass waterway can be made means uh, in a drainage channel grasses are grown so that uh, velocity runoff velocity is non erosive it doesn't cause any erosion and grasses uh, ho um, check the erosion so this is a good example of grass waterway but these generally force are practiced uh, to increase the soil water storage so if we talk about the water harvesting structures so mechanical measures are engineering structure, water harvesting structure is also a structure, but in case of water harvesting, we convey the water to outside the field where water is stored for longer period. But in case of uh, this mechanical measure to increase the soil moisture storage, water is remain in the field, retained in the field by making uh, labeling, bunding, terracing, trenching. If suppose this excess runoff water is conveyed to outside and we store the water at a water reservoir, reservoir or any stock stru structure, then it will be water harvesting. So don't be confused that wh what is water harvesting and what are the methods to increase the soil water storage. Water harvesting structure store the water for a longer period. For example, dam, pond, tank. So here runoff is collected in water harvesting structure. But in case of mechanical measures, when we talk about mechanical measures, to increase the soil moisture storage, it means we are increasing the soil moisture storage in the field itself by making a terrace, by trenches, by bunding, by labeling. So these are the mechanical measures or engineering measures to increase soil water storage. Thank you very much.